Hey YouTube, uh, we're going to go ahead and format this computer. This is the kids computer. As you can see they have dual screen monitors, lucky ass kids. I uh, wish I had that growing up. Uh, well like I said, it's the kids computers. Uh, so it's full of viruses now. <laughs> uh, it's going super slow. Um, what I've done is just back up all the drivers that I have downloaded into this computer onto my bedroom computer. Um, this is the network bedroom home primary desktop kids. Uh, so I went into my bedroom and there's all the drivers there. Um, see so you can see here the uh, installation discs already in there the ejection button is broken kids uh, and this is the uh, software I'll be using Windows XP there's the product key I've used this CD since high school believe it or not um, I don't know if you can see it no scratches baby that's how I like to keep my CDs I always keep them inside my CD holder and as you can see it's full of software so essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to insert the disk into the CD-ROM drive and I'll show you what we're working with here real quick. I'm just gonna this here. There's the uh, tower. Uh, made some modifications to that tower. I've added, I've added a dual screen video card. Uh, added those CD drives. That's why they're sticking out a little bit. Uh, but they're better than the original ones. Um, this computer has more than three different computers hardwares put inside that one to make it excellent uh, when I first finished fixing it it was super fast uh, faster than any computer even the newer computers as a matter of fact but now it is just super slow so there's the installation um, you can't just do the installation off of here because if you click on the install Windows XP it's going to say setup cannot continue because the version of Windows on your computer is newer than the version of the CD. No problem. Uh, for some people that is a problem but let me show you what you do. Go ahead and restart the computer. Let me get this. This is where I put in my memory stick for the camera. Uh, my camera bag uh, that way I don't have to be because it's a memory stick I don't need a computer that has a memory stick port I could just simply connect this to any USB and it'll read my memory so the computer shutting down and you hit your trusty F8 key until we come to here, well, actually that didn't take me to where I wanted to, but, uh, let's go to, oh, I know why I did that, okay, troubleshooting on the spot, check this out, so, F2, I believe it is, and it gets you into your menu here, uh, let me see, boot sequence, we're going to put it into the CD-ROM drive, which is selected. Um, drive configuration. Let's turn. I'll leave it on. Second drive slave on. Let's see what else 
else we got here? Hello, Oh, God. This is our installation. Okay, so we'll go ahead yeah. and save and exit. Yeah, save and exit. Oh, my God. Can you guys please be quiet? Hey. No, 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 no. Go over there, please. Oh, my God. So, the top CD drive is not working. Uh, so, I went ahead and disconnected it. Gosh. Uh, and I want to go ahead. See, that's the top one there, and this is the bottom one. I went ahead and disconnected the top one and move the jumper settings to master from slave and it just has that one IED cable connected to it so we're gonna give it a try now see if hopefully we're able to reinstall the operating system it's all trial and error so we'll, go ahead and s we'll go ahead and start the computer now just to make sure that the CD drive is reading Okay, so the computer is now started up. And the CD drive is in there, DVD drive. Let's go ahead and open it. Make sure it's reading. Okay, so it is reading. So jumpers are set correctly. Um, let's go ahead and give it another try now. And I can really see the computer working faster, so maybe that top CD drive was the one that was causing conflict. Okay, so here we are restarting now. And let's see if it uh, picks up the drive. Second drive one, not found. Oh, there we go. Primary. So I found the drive. It's now reading the disk. It's going into the installation setup. Now this is for Windows XP. Uh, for Windows XP and up, uh, the installation software, it's embed it into the hard drive so you don't need a disk you could just run the installation software and the BIOS settings uh, but since this is old school Windows XP is still my favorite version of Windows uh, gotta go old school so we'll give that a second to load all the installation files Okay, it has finished loading up the installation files, uh, well, the setup files for the installation. To set up Windows XP, press Enter to repair, press R to quit, press F3. We want to set up Windows XP. Uh, do you agree? And F8. Searching for previous versions of Windows. It had found one. Do you want to repair or continue installation with a fresh copy? Escape. We want to do an installation. Hmm. It looks like I have two hard drives in there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Second hard drive, NTFS. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even have this partition set. So let's see, let's go ahead and delete this partition. Yes, delete this partition. L, caution all data will be deleted or lost. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a partition by pressing C. Okay, 
You want to create a partition size of 38, which probably the hard drive is 40 gigs. Okay, so now that is created, we have the second partition. Let's go ahead and delete this other partition. Actually, let's not. Just in case I do have other drivers in there uh, for the computer after we get this done. So, let's go ahead and, and you could always go into, uh, I believe it's com called computer management and set this other partition up. So let's go ahead and hit enter to install. We want to use NTFS, NTFS file system. We want to do a quick format. So set up this formatting. As you can see, it's going pretty fast. It's already at 20%. I thought it was going fast. Huh, there it goes, 100%. Okay, so Windows XP uh, setups and creating a list of files to be copied. So now it's going to do the installation files. Setup is copying files, 1%. And you can see the files here being copied. So we'll go ahead and give that a second. Okay, it finished doing the installation files. So now it's, please don't touch it, Caleb. Nino, mente. It's restarting now, and I will continue doing the installation files. No, no. Okay, so it's going to be installing Windows now, and we'll check on it on a little bit. As you can see, it's going to take about 39 minutes, so we'll come back to it. We're in the first step of, I think it's like three steps. Uh, it's asking for region, region and location, name, we'll put kids, computer. Organization home product key Computer name, kids PC, uh, time, make sure time is right, okay, and I'll continue to the next step, installing network. do have a network card on there uh, I did have it hardwire but we moved the location of the computer so wireless card this is what we're using to connect to the internet and to my network to share files share movies share pictures Everything's pretty self-explanatory there. Well, I went ahead and finished the installation. I have my son here with me. Say hi, world. Hi, world. <laughs> ah. Okay.
Get down. Yeah. No, 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 no. Come on. No, no. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oi. No. This is the first introduction Oi. to Microsoft Windows XP. Oh. Welcome to Windows XP. I'm here to help you set up your computer. Your name. Let's put my name. No. It won't work if I click on it. I'm going to put kiddos. Next. And thank you. Okay, uh, as you can see, Windows is now installed. Ah! Okay. But I know that a lot of the drivers are not. So you want to. Get it! Okay. No! Go into uh, Hardware, oh. Device Manager, and see Ethernet, Audio Controller. System bus controller, video controller, all these are not installed. Uh, those are the drivers that I did back up into my <laughs> network. So, I'll throw them into a USB flash drive and we'll go ahead and install those. Okay, so, I'll go ahead and install the drivers. Grab our service pack two Windows XP CD. Doing that, here's the drivers. Uh, let me see, here's the Linksys drivers. Let's close this real quick. Let's run one installation at a time. That way, it could write it appropriately on the hard drive. Don't want to run the installation, so no problem. We'll just do it the manual way. Some reason it doesn't want to see the flash drive. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this, put it in here.
Now it's reading it. Too late. I already threw it in here. And there I found the wireless B. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'll do this to all of them. As you can see, <laughs> they're all removing one by one because we're installing the correct drivers. Oh, I didn't even check which one this was, but let's see. Oh, this is multimedia. Okay. It's the multimedia one, but I know this is the video, so we'll just skip that one for now. It's installing the video card right now, so that's why it's flashing. Install the other video. And that's for the uh, split screen. Let's see as you can see. Uh, so now we need the multimedia. Mm, audio. Oh, fantastic. I don't know why it crashed, but <clears throat> whatever, as long as it works. Zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> As you can see, the other one is turned off now because the correct drivers are installed. So, what we want to do is go into settings. See, we have two monitor displays here. One extend, apply. And here's the other video. Uh, let's go ahead and just make this. Apparel to it. Okay. Range desktop by name. Arrange. Auto arrange. Um, here's the wireless matrix.
connect it. Connect. Let's change this picture. Go back to hardware and the serial bus still not installed, so let's go ahead and install it. Uh, and that's the audio, Linsys drivers, and Well, we'll troubleshoot that a little bit later. Okay, well I'm gonna have to troubleshoot the wireless connection. So you can see everything's running smooth, running fast. Just click on it and it just opens up quick. It's doing that because I made it run on their capability of Windows 98, Windows Millennium. I uh, changed the uh, picture size of it, and that's why it's funky, funky. So we'll give that a second. I went ahead and changed the comp capability <coughs> options just so it could work right. See what we have in here. I'm going to format this hard drive. I just want to get this one, this haunted house. Uh, it's an awesome game for the kids.
So as soon as that's done, we'll go ahead and format that hard drive. Actually, let me show you where I was talking about earlier under computer management. So you go into uh, control panel, switch to classic view, administrative tools, computer management, and that's still running. Okay, here uh, you have your storage, device manager, just a fragment disk management, and there it shows you your hard drives. So we're going to go ahead and format the second hard drive. Format. It gives you more options here. The name and type of NTFS or FAT32. We'll go ahead and switch to the FAT32. Perform a quick. Actually, it's the NTFS. And enable file compression. Perform quick format. Yes shows its formatting okay and formats complete shows that it's healthy we'll go ahead and open it there's nothing in there anymore uh, open and see here we have your program files you have your Windows folder, System32 folder, Documents and Settings, here's your kiddos, Desktop, and Documents, and here's the drivers. Uh, so let's see, let's go ahead and since we have split screen dual monitor, I have some dual monitor pictures here. You can see, here go across the screen here. Uh, I like this planet one, but let's go ahead and add this one. So that's desktop. Okay, let's close that out. We don't need that there no more. Let's close this installation. Um, I'll troubleshoot the wireless in a little bit. So, as you can see, the same picture is on both screens. So, we're going to go into properties, desktop, stretch. We're going to center it, apply. So tile, and as you can see, it is stretched across both desktops now. See, Iron Man, here's Tony Stark, and the rest of them. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one here. You can see the both pictures on both monitors, so we'll go back into properties again. Uh, into desktop and tile, apply, boom. It's all across both desktops now. Damn lucky kids, right? Having dual monitors. I didn't have that growing up. Uh, lucky ass kids. Uh, here's this one. Let's do this one here. You can see both, so both properties again, desktop and tile, and a solo cross one. Sweet. Um, let me see. That's the USB, the Linksys drivers. We don't need those because we already have them there. Uh, so let's troubleshoot that wireless. Let's go into network places. Well, it's not connected to a network right now, so it's not going to view anything. Uh, view available networks. Anyways, I'll troubleshoot that later. Um, so essentially, uh, that's all it is. Um,
And there you have it. And that's how you format a Windows 6P machine. Like I said, everything's running fast. Look how that, how fast that is. You click on it and it loads up. God, faster than any damn computer I have. You know, other than this one. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Well, that's right. Trying to see here. So we have <clears throat> 312 megabytes of RAM on a Pentium 4 processor, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, Windows XP Professional version 2002 Service Pack 1. So we're going to go ahead and install um, Service Pack 2. And that's it, you know. Just update the computer now. Microsoft doesn't support Windows XP anymore, so fuck Microsoft. This is personally the best version of Windows for me. There's Windows Vista, there's Windows 7, 8, and 10, and they're supposed to be friendly user. I think this is the friendliest it's going to get. They screwed up by changing everything around. Uh, Windows XP is the best. I don't care what anybody says. XP is the shit. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. There has been another video by George Lopez on how to format your system of Windows XP. Thank you.